Hello, we're here today on top of the Muchuku power plant, which generates energy from the waves. It started operating in 2011 and so far has injected 1.5 gigawatt hour of electricity into the network. It's composed of 16 chambers down below, and each one having a set of turbine and generator. The total install capacity is 300 kilowatts. The technology is called oscillating water column because it uses the oscillation of water inside the chamber due to the incoming waves. This video is about ongoing work carrying on around the plant in order to improve its power production. First, a numerical model of one chamber is developed, including the full energy conversion chain. Then a control strategy is designed and validated in Technalia's hardware in the loop test rig. And finally, the control is implemented right here in Mutrico. The numerical model reproduces the conversion of energy starting from the wave acting on the internal water surface until the power produced by the generator. The geometry of one chamber is designed and a water displacement inside the chamber is computed using a hydrodynamic solver. The airflow produced by the pressure variation passes through an air turbine, in this case a wells turbine, and drives the generator to produce the electrical power to be injected in the grid. In order to validate a control strategy, it's highly recommended to use an electrical infrastructure like this one. It's been specially configured to replicate the behavior of one of the turbine generator set installed in Mutrigo. It's called the hardware in the loop test bench because when the model of the plant is running in real time, it sends a reference signal to the test rig, which then applies the control law and so changes the input of the model. The control implemented here in the controller is designed so the turbine is created at its best operation point. To do so, speed variation is allowed and regulated by applying the torque on the generator side. Now, Let's run a test. In this panel, I monitor the main data necessary to analyze the control. First, the wave elevation in front of the plant, as well as the water level displacement inside the chamber, the pressure and the mass flow rate across the turbine, the turbine torque along with its efficiency and the series valve position, the, the control velocity as well as the generator torque reference followed by the torque measured by the torque meter. Now let's go to Motriku for the control implementation. First an optimal fixed speed control is applied. The power production is maximum but power peaks are clearly visible. And sometimes the generator has to provide energy to follow the reference speed. Now let's apply our control. By allowing the speed to vary, the generator is continuously producing and the power production is smoother thanks to the energy stored in the turbine inertia.